guys, I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, we're going to do things a little bit differently. And what I mean by that is, if you can't already tell by my voice, I've been so sick for the past week and a half. It's been unbelievable, and I haven't uploaded any recipes for a couple days, and I feel terrible about that, but I just have not been even, even able to move until today. Today was the first day I actually felt like I could actually get up and get some things done, and um, I wanted to share a video with you, I wanted to do something with you guys because it's the beginning of the new year and happy new year, hope Santa bought you something great, uh, he's seen that it brought me a cold, <laughs> but that's okay, um, but I haven't been feeling good at all and I wanted to share this recipe with you, it's really not a recipe, it's something I've been literally living on and my husband's been making for me a lot and kind of throwing anything in it. It's, he calls it his soba noodle soup, uh, which is made with soba noodles and just a variety of vegetables you might have hanging around. I've got a mixture of mushrooms, some sugar snap peas, green onions, carrots, some cabbage left over. You're going to use your soba noodles, some uh, soy sauce, I like to use a low sodium, black pepper and some stock, vegetable stock, beef stock, you name it. You could put anything you want into the soup. I'm not here to tell you that this is the only way to make it. In fact, the way I had it a couple days ago is probably completely different than I had it than I'm making it today because it's just what I have on hand. So let's kind of get started, shall we? Now I've got my stock coming up to a boil here in this big large pot, and back there I have a pot with some boiling water, with some water coming up to a boil as well. Because when I tell you, as soon as these things go into the hot in the hot liquid, they cook in five minutes. It's that simple. So I'm just gonna chop up some of these mushrooms. Nothing perfect. You know, just kind of roughly. I don't know if you guys follow me on Facebook, and if you don't, you should, because if you do, then you know I've been sick, and um, we had a party for New Year's Eve, and I, I tried to be such a brave girl, but I was passed out by 12.20. I couldn't hold on anymore. I was so exhausted and, and sick, and I had to go to New York City for a few things, and that kind of made things a little bit worse, because I was out in the cold, and as soon as I came home that day, we actually had plans on Saturday for to New York, we had some things to do, work things and such, but Saturday morning I woke up, I said, you have to cancel everything, honey, because I can't talk. I have to go to a doctor immediately. I can't, there's nothing I could do. I don't want to walk in, in these people and I can't talk, so that would defeat the purpose. So, you know, I don't get sick very often and, and I, uh, I'm the kind of person that's up and about a lot, so this is definitely kind of taking me back a bit, but nothing we can't handle here, you know what I mean? Roughly chop your mushrooms however your heart desires. does not have to be perfect, trust me. You can tear them if you want to. I'm just going to roughly chop them. I'm just going to roughly chop my sugar snaps. I love these. love to snack on them. So, so good. I love that they're very sweet. Put these here. Now, for my carrot, I'm going to grate it because I want this to cook so fast. I want to grate it so it gets the job done quickly. And now trust me, when I was, up until today, when I was up and about, I was not chopping and dicing and doing any of that. I'm so thankful for my husband who had as much as, as he could do for me, he did. And by having bits and pieces of things in the fridge, and all he had to do was put some stock and some soba noodles, and that was my dinner. Because honestly, and this is going to shock some of you, so hold on to your seats. I did not have an appetite whatsoever. Like I couldn't even, I wasn't hungry. I didn't want to eat because I just didn't feel good. But because I was on antibiotics, I had to eat. So this was something that was, I could, I could keep down and it was soothing and it was warm and it was filling and it was delicious. So I figured if you guys are in the same boat, then by all means, this is fine. I'll keep the other, the other piece to nibble on. All right, we have all of our veggies chopped. These are going to go on top, so we're going to wait for these until the very, very end. My stock is up to a boil. I'm going to put them all in. That simple. No sauteing, no oil, no, you know, having to follow specific m measurements of everything, nothing at all. Just throw it all in, hot stock, you'll be all right. Give this a stir. This needs four minutes, and that's completely done. My soba noodles, which are traditional buckwheat noodles, cook in four minutes. So I'm going to dump these into the boiling water, wait four minutes, I'm going to drain them and rinse them under cold water, and then I'll show you how to finish everything off. My soup is done. My soup base, I should say. It cooked for four minutes. My soba noodles cooked for four minutes. I just drained them and rinsed them with cold water. They're ready to go. 
<clears throat> like really trying hard to get my voice to come back. I'm gonna chop up some fresh scallions so I can put them right on top. Get rid of the little nubbly ends. I do love fresh scallions on top. I think it it really adds a little extra note of something. And of course, if you're not feeling up to it, completely forget about it. And as you can see, my kitchen is bare. I haven't gone food shopping. I'm wearing an oversized sweater and I'm wearing Uggs. And I, I have to be super comfy. But, you know, my appetite's coming back. And I'm ready to dig in. I'm going to season my soup. Instead of doing it with salt and pepper, I'm going to do a splash of some soy sauce. Low sodium, please. And some black pepper. Love black pepper. Give this a stir. Perfect. That is done. Look at that. Done. And you want to know what my husband did when, when he made this for me the first time? Total, total genius. Instead of shredding the cabbage and the carrot like I did, he used the leftover remains of our coleslaw mix. Oh no, he was being so, so smart in the kitchen. It's a small little cookie he is. Definitely a keeper. Put your soba noodles in. Oh yeah. Pretty excited in life. Even when you don't feel that well, you should be excited in life. Scallions, please. Mm. I've got a fork and a spoon to try the broth a little bit. Mushroom. Mmm. Mm -hmm. This is so flavorful. It's so simple. I'm going to attempt to slurp, even though this is really hot. Mmm. That, I'm telling you, throw in whatever you've got. Some cooked shrimp would be great in here, cooked up chicken would be great in here, bok choy, any kind of cabbage you want, any vegetable you want, you can't not go wrong. All you need is some hot stock, whatever you've got rummaging about, even some frozen veggies that you got left over in the freezer. I mean, why not? It's going to taste good, don't worry. The soba noodles are so good, and it's a relatively new ingredient that I've been working with, but I've been loving them. Mm. Go to LauraInTheKitchen.com. I'll have everything that I used today written and ready for you. I hope you guys have had a wonderful New Year celebration. I hope to see you guys very soon and feeling much better. Thanks for spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.